Andrew Thomas had a rough go of it on Sunday in the Giants' 22-20 loss to the New England Patriots. Here is a bit of film on the first sack surrendered by Andrew Thomas against number 55, Josh Uche. Let's run the play and then break it down. There's a lot of things happening here, and we'll go through it in a second. Daniel Jones ends up on the ground. Never a good thing. Here's another angle of it. And the third angle. You hate to see it. But here's the play in its entirety. Let's break down the anatomy of it. So we're going to have a short set from Andrew Thomas here. But watch what Josh Uche does. First, he's going to explode like he's going to attack up the arc. And then watch how he stutters his feet here to create a little bit of uncertainty within Andrew Thomas's brain. He comes together right here with his feet, stutters, re-squares himself. And watch right here how that gets Thomas second guessing right here thomas is not in a square position right here his hips are opened his feet are incredibly wide his hands are also wide and it looks like he's leaning inside and i believe that's because of this stutter step from uche which gave thomas the impression that he could be going inside so he didn't continue to gain depth even though it was a short set but continued to gain depth in his set and you could see how he doesn't really push off that inside foot to get that outside foot outside. Instead, he was taken off guard and he has to embrace for contact. And then he opens his hips and that provides the alley for Josh Uche to get hip to hip and run through his outside shoulder, which we saw a little bit earlier. So that quick little stutter step, I believe created the hesitation in Andrew Thomas's mind, which just led to a lot more mistakes throughout this play, which we'll go through right here. So there's the stutter step. Josh Uche explodes off his inside foot, gets back to the outside shoulder half man, and then gets hip to hip. But here are some other mistakes right here. We see Thomas attempt to strike the chest of Josh Uche, but he never makes any contact. And Uche does an excellent job using his hands to mitigate Thomas's ability to acquire Josh Uche's chest. And then Uche also reduces the surface area of his chest through this pass rushing rep. So you can see the outside arm of Thomas strike the outside arm of Uche. The inside arm of Thomas doesn't even get up through the bicep of the inside arm of Uche. So there's no contact being made by Thomas on this play. Instead, Uche is able to create separation and that is something an edge rusher always wants to do. You don't want to be up on a tackle that outweighs you by 60 pounds. You want to create enough separation, and that's what he does here. He doesn't allow Thomas to get into his chest, as you can see. And you can see how he uses that inside arm to create more separation on Andrew Thomas, whose hips are fully opened right now, providing an alley right in on Daniel Jones. And now it's on Uche to bend through this contact of Andrew Thomas, who sometimes you can see tackles who are beat like this just ride edge rushers up the arc. But Uche bends through this contact and does not allow Thomas to reposition himself to defeat his path into Daniel Jones. And you can see how he bends that inside shoulder. Look at the bend through his hips, through his ankles, his knees, to bend through that contact and corner his hips into the pocket to sack Daniel Jones. And we see this here. It's frustrating as Giants fans. These are some technical mistakes by Andrew Thomas that are set up right there by that stutter step that creates that hesitation that leads to Andrew Thomas not gaining enough depth in his set, which also leads to Thomas struggling with his strike positioning. And then his overall rep is just completely out of position against Josh Uche, who does an excellent job defeating him on this play. We can run through it one more time, now that we broke it down a bit. Stutter, no contact, dip the inside shoulder, bend through the contact, sack the quarterback. Here, you can see it from another angle. Hip to hip, as they say. Much lower pad level. Andrew Thomas' center of gravity is very, very high because he was out of position from that stutter step earlier in the rep. And then we see Uche dip the inside shoulder, 
and just turn the corner through the outside shoulder of Andrew Thomas. And here it is again. The Giants are going to need significantly better play if they expect to win football games in 2021. They're going to need their tackles to step it up. It did not happen against the Patriots in preseason with Andrew Thomas, Nate Solder, or Matt Parrott, if we're going to be frank. But I'm not going to think it's all doom and gloom as of right now. It's just not an encouraging sign for week one where the Giants have to take on Bradley Chubb and Von Miller. So two weeks until then, but need this offensive line to step it up. All right, Big Boo Banter, Nick Filato, signing out.